cylinders and calipers. So that's how it works. It's the same principle in your car, George. So you can see why leakage anywhere in the system leads to trouble with the brakes. No fluid, no brakes. It's important to have the brake system inspected and serviced regularly. From a safety standpoint, it's the most important system in your car. Any defective part, no matter how small and seemingly unimportant, should be replaced at once. Well, what about power brakes? How are they different from regular brakes? Well, power brakes have a special booster unit in the system. Power brakes don't stop the car faster, they just make it easier to push down on the brake pedal. Well, I want to keep my brakes working properly. Can you give me some symptoms of possible brake problems? You can be on the lookout for any unusual sounds when braking. If the brake pedal seems to feel different, or if the car pulls to one side when you brake, you need to have the system checked for fluid loss or even possible leakage from the brake components. To help your brakes last, don't jam on the pedal unless it's an emergency stop. And don't ride them by keeping your foot on the pedal while driving. The next time I'll be more careful when I drive. But is there anything I could do to keep my brakes in good working order? Well, George, checking the brake fluid level periodically is part of good routine maintenance. And remember, if the level is low, add only brake fluid, never any other type of fluid. But a certified service technician is really the best person to inspect and maintain your brakes. This means an inspection of the entire system, including components that affect it, like wheel bearings and grease seals. Other related parts may also need replacing, such as weakened springs, leaking seals, and stretched cables. Brake lines and hoses are inspected carefully for damage or leaks. The master cylinder is checked for external leakage, and the brake fluid is also checked for condition and proper level. Brake pads take the most wear. They need to be replaced if worn down or gummed with oil, grease, or brake fluid leakage. Well, you know, I've learned two things for sure. There's a lot more to the brake system than just the pedal. And you can't cut corners when it comes to maintenance. That's right, George. You've seen how your brakes work and how important they are. So let's keep them in good condition. Well, what's next? How about uh, preventive maintenance? Good. Preventive maintenance includes checks, adjustments, lubrication, and parts replacement, all to keep your car running smoothly and safely. There's much preventive maintenance you can do yourself, but some people prefer to leave it all in the hands of a professional. Either way, preventive maintenance helps lower the cost of operation and extends the life of your car. Boy, I'm for that. I've invested a lot of money in my car, and I want it to last. A car is a big investment, usually the second biggest a person makes. Proper preventive maintenance is the best way to keep that investment on the road. Why don't we take a look inside? Why not? Hey, this looks like a little bit of everything. And you'll want to keep everything in good working order, George. Poor performance in your car can be caused by little things. Low oil, underinflated tires, dirty filters. A poorly maintained car, whether old or new, burns more fuel. And neglecting oil changes can lead to expensive engine work later on. Proper maintenance of tires and brakes is essential to driving safety. Well, I agree that preventive maintenance is important, but I get a little confused about what I should do and when. I understand. First of all, preventive maintenance should be done according to a routine schedule. Your owner's manual has a recommended maintenance schedule for your car. You mean I don't have to take my car back to where I bought it for maintenance? Well, that depends on what needs to be done, especially if anything's under warranty. So it's a good idea to read your car's warranty and owner's manual for recommended maintenance. Some maintenance you can do yourself, but there are many things that should be done by a service professional. What kind of preventive maintenance can I do? I'm not very good with tools. <laughs> well, George, you have two very good tools to help you. Your eyes and ears. Check the battery fluid level. Keep the terminals clean and make sure it's firmly seated in its frame. Inspect the alternator belt for cracks or worn condition. By the way, never check the belts when the engine is running. Check the air filter and if dirty, replace it. Coolant should be checked for proper level and for any rust that would mean the system needs flushing. Inspect hoses for cracks, swelling, and leaks, and the clamps for corrosion. Tires should be kept at proper inflation. 
Look for signs of excessive tread wear. This means you may need alignment or tire rotation. Check the brake fluid level periodically. Preventive maintenance also includes checking the oil level after the engine is warmed up. Dirty oil means an oil change is needed. Your owner's manual shows the right type of oil. You should also check the power steering fluid level. Check the level of the transmission fluid with the engine running. Don't forget to check the windshield washer fluid regularly. Good visibility is important in bad weather. Wiper blades deteriorate, so annual replacement is a good investment. That's a lot to remember. I think I should have been taking notes. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Your owner's manual has preventive maintenance schedules for your particular car. If you prefer, a qualified professional can do routine preventive maintenance when you take your car in for service. In addition, preventive maintenance and repairs can overlap. For example, computerized test equipment is used to analyze the ignition system condition and pinpoint any problems. The cooling system components are checked and adjusted. Periodically, the coolant is flushed and changed. To prepare for cold weather, it's important to winterize the cooling system with the proper antifreeze mixture. The steering and suspension system components are checked, adjusted, and lubricated. Another job for a professional is strut and shock absorber replacement. If the car sways on turns or bounces excessively when you apply the brakes, it may be time to replace your shocks. Poor shocks can also contribute to uneven tire wear and shorten the life of your tires. Yeah, I see what you mean. What else does professional maintenance involve? Well, there's plenty that your service partner can do to help maintain your car, George. Tire rotation, tire balancing, wheel alignment, oil change and oil filter replacement. A quality service facility can provide a variety of maintenance services to help keep your car running smoothly. What about my brakes? Brake service includes checking brake shoe wear and, if required, a brake overhaul. The service technician will also check for low brake fluid and change it if needed. So then preventive maintenance is really just regular inspections and routine care. Yeah, there's no mystery to keeping your car healthy, just preventive maintenance and regular service. But George, always observe basic safety precautions when checking your car's systems. For example, when looking under the hood, always stay clear of fan blades and moving belts. Keep neckties or loose clothing away from the engine. It's best to have the engine switched off, but even if the engine is off, electric fans may start up, so be careful. If the engine has been running or is overheated, don't attempt to take the radiator cap off. You could get burned by the escaping steam or hot coolant. Never smoke while checking the engine or battery. You might accidentally ignite a fluid or fumes and cause a fire or explosion. For more about safety, George, consult your owner's manual. You can also talk with a service professional. That's a good way to avoid damage to your car and injury to yourself.